Good morning. Welcome back to St. Anthony Catholic School. And today I am joining you from the library. Today we are celebrating our love of books and our love for places to read. Growing up, the library was always one of my favorite places. And as a middle school language arts teacher, I enjoyed reading so many of the books in here. I have a large number that are my favorites, and I will share with some of those with you shortly. But if you will join me first today, we are going to start with our prayer, as always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, and the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I brought a flag in with me for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. St. Anthony Catholic School celebrates each individual as a unique child of God, provides a safe Christ-centered environment that promotes cultural diversity, academic achievement, and challenges each of us to serve our school, parish, and community. More than a school, we are a family. As a family today, we are celebrating books and reading and our play favorite places and favorite spots to read. And I'm gonna share with you the title of my favorite book that was one that I've loved since childhood. And it's had a lot of good meaning for me as an adult. And the title is Alexander, and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. If you were to read about Alexander as he goes through his day, you would learn that he had issues with shoes and with gum in his hair. And throughout the book, he just tells everybody that I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And that nobody, not anyone, really listened or cared. Well, by the end, Alexander thinks that Australia is the perfect place to go and that maybe he'll just move to Australia and live that life, live life there. He tells us that mom says that some days are just those terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days, even in Australia. I don't know about you, but maybe there's a place we could go where we could find our joy and our happiness and not have those terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days. You should read it. You'll get a good laugh out of it. My middle school students, I would have to tell you that my favorite book series is the Divergent book series. I loved reading about Tris and her adventures. It's a dystopian novel, and she has to find her way. She remains true to herself, true to the character that she is and that she was written to be. And I admire her and her many strengths and strong qualities and characteristics. So it's a very good book series. I hope as you go through your day that you have a blessed day and that you can enjoy all of the adventures ahead of you. I'll be looking forward to seeing your favorite books and the places and the spots that you like to read. God bless you and have a great day.